I want to get right to this Huawei uh, issue that, that you talked about on the call. Uh, they're your biggest customer, I believe, at, at around 13% recently. And you said, quote, we determined that we could lawfully resume shipping a subset of current products because they are not subject to export administration regulations and entity list restrictions. Uh, I know you didn't want to give a specific amount that you're shipping to Huawei over the last couple of weeks, but is it more than half of what you would normally be shipping them or less? So John, we don't talk specifics about customer revenue or uh, customer products that we ship to, but what I will tell you is that uh, in FQ4, the quarter we currently are in, our revenue shipments to Huawei would be less than, meaningfully less than what they would have been otherwise if the Huawei ban was not in effect. And similarly, you know, uh, if this, uh, these restrictions continue into our fiscal year 2020, uh, our outlook for revenue for Huawei uh, would likely be less than what it otherwise would have been without the ban. Important thing Can is that we are, go ahead. Go ahead. Important thing is that we are a well diversified company, you know, well diversified product line, addressing well diversified end markets and well diversified customer base across the globe. And we, of course, focus on continuing to optimize our business, just like we showed in our FQ3 results that we just reported. Even in a very challenging environment, we actually reported solid results for the company. Sanjay, how comfortable do you feel with your reading uh, of the rules on your shipments to Huawei that you're going to be able to continue to do that uh, since you talked about uh, the fact that you've started resuming some shipments over the last couple of weeks? Has the administration contacted you uh, or, or pushed back at all on your doing that? When the Huawei uh, was placed on the entity listing on May 16th, we immediately stopped shipments to Huawei. Um, our team of experts, legal experts, actually reviewed uh, our you know, complex set of R&D and manufacturing footprint across the globe and the product portfolio, and they studied the entity listing as well as the export administration uh, regulations uh, limitations and they determined that there is a subset of our products that we were previously shipping to Huawei that we can continue to be shipping. And of course with respect to the rest of the business we continue to assess against the complex set of regulations and against our complex footprint uh, to guide our actions for the future. Uh, of course the situation as you know does remain fluid with respect to uh, Huawei certainly has certain element of uncertainty. We will always comply with the rules and regulations of the U.S. government, as well as, for that matter, rules and regulations of uh, governments in all the regions where we operate. 